real one. I miss home. I'm ready to go. 2018 miles. So I'm gonna drive until I get tired today. to New Mexico. Thank you so much to the journey buddy that got me these shower slippers. I love them. It's really good after shower. Look at how dirty my baby is. But guess what? I'm refusing to get a car wash. I paid twenty two dollars. Look at all that. I think I bought those mats. But yes, I refuse to get another car wash. I paid $22, $15, and $12. I'm not getting another one. I'm wait till I get home and use my unlimited membership. Mm. Just stopped somewhere in Texas and went to Planet Fitness and took a shower. I noticed about here is they have a lot of white vehicles. A lot of white vehicles. Like almost all the cars on the road are white. And of course, they're dirty, but they're white. Um, Texas was on my list of areas to stop and visit. And I think I'm going to come back this way when it gets warmer out. I heard they got a lot of nice uh, camping sites near the water. I'm ready to get back home. So I. You know, I'm passing it. And it's another nice thing that they have. Um, they have a lot of picnic stops or um, picnic exits. They call it picnic area. So they're over to the side of the highway. And you can, um, you know, have a picnic, eat. 
They have grills, it's like little uh, concrete chairs and tables and stuff. But I thought that was pretty cool. I wish that I could have stayed more in Arizona, but I was ready to get back home. Um, I probably would have been able to stay longer if I wouldn't have went and uh, visited my mom and all of that. I was there from, I believe, Monday to Saturday. So, you know, that's an extra week that I could have had in Arizona. I just need to get back before it gets too hot there and get some stuff done out in the yard and with my land there. And then once it's warmer, then I'm going to come back this way do my land in Arizona. I'm going to try to see if I can find some land in Texas. Um, I saw a few, but I, I was unsure if I'm going to get it because of the location of it. But I'm going to check more into that and see. Definitely looks like I would probably want to have some land here. Let's see, where else? California is always, you can always find land in California, but it's just so far away from me. It's like, will I ever... You know go there if it, it gets to the point where my husband doesn't have to work any longer then I, I don't mind you know but right now he has to work and I can work from anywhere but he can't so I only can be gone from him for a certain amount of time but basically I'm gonna look in Texas and Carolina I found, I may find a land in, I think, North Carolina. I haven't been there. DATCU Stadium. Another thing I found true for most Texans is that they die hard Texans. Boy, they don't play. You know, they they represent Texas. I don't know what kind of symbol they use or sign, but yeah, they Texas, Texas, Texas here. Like you see the Texas, they got stickers, they got flags, they got everything represent Texas. Made in Texas cars. Yes. So, Texas is the place to be. Oh, yeah, I didn't update. I'm in Denton, D E N T O N, Texas. It's 55 degrees. For some reason, I'm sleepy. I don't know why. I had the best sleep, I think, last night since I've been traveling. And I'm just tired. I am kind of hungry right now. I'm trying to drive as far as I can drive in the daylight, which is winter time and it's, you know, it's not very bright and sunny anyway. So I want a taco. So I don't know if I'm past any place to get a taco. fascinated by some of the smallest stuff I know <laughs> yeah it's just crazy yeah I'm fascinated buildings like the brown colored and the, the color of the interstate walls and stuff like that okay this is Dallas they they're busy they have a lot of traffic it's um 1156 here you got all this going on Trying to get through off the 
the big cities, you know, when it wasn't a lot of traffic, but you know, we always run into something. This is the first like traffic that I really ran into. It's really not affecting me because I'm like riding past it, but every once in a while I have to brake extra hard or something because somebody jumps out in front of me. But other than that, still on the road. Wait a minute, what's going on? Okay, see the little stars on there. Those for the interstates. They're just a glorified Taco Bell or what, but we're about to see. That's what it looks like. It says they got margaritas to go. I don't know if that's virgin margaritas or with alcohol, probably just virgin. Oh, salsa bar. Here's her combo. Yes. Every time she comes, she gets the black bean tacos. Oh, yeah. You already know. I love salsa. You talk salsa. They have the salsa bar. So I can do a favorite tortilla. See what we got in here. I guess that's just if you want to mix this stuff. I don't know. Like, put. Let me show you. So I have rice and beans and my cheese enchilada. It's got some guac, lettuce, and in here is my bean. So all this was about nine dollars or something. So let me taste it. Okay, the rice. Typical Mexican rice. They have the black beans look really good. I don't know what this is—a pepper or olive. Pepper, spicy pepper. That beans are good. So I guess you take these tortillas and you wrap your beans and rice in them. Oh dang! I should have said hard taco. Thank you. So I guess you take your taco. I don't really like stop tacos. It looks good though. Let's go ask for a uh, hard taco shell. Let me taste the cheese enchilada first. 
Okay. I needed this. Nice. A little tea dance a lot of it's pretty good. The beans so far have been the best. Let me go ask for a hard shell taco. Oh, no, I'm going to put take it to go too. I just wanted to taste it. I'm hungry right now. Before I get back on the road. My phone didn't fail. Okay. On this one size bird. This in here. Okay. I made a mess. I'm not really a fan. I'm not really a fan. Gosh, I'm trying to keep Just because I'm using taco sauce to prop it. But I'm not really a fan of soft tail soft tortilla, soft tacos. I like that crunch. Now that I've made a mess of my taco, I didn't know they put rice in it. Get all my toppings. first bite. I had to go through a lot to get this taco. I feel like I don't have enough sauce on this side either. Mm, it's okay. So basically this is a glorified taco bell. I don't know why I keep saying glorified, but I guess it's like taco bell. But I love tacos, so it don't really, really can't go wrong with tacos and a vegetable taco with that. We can use a wrong with vegetables in the shell. Okay, so I'm full. I ate the one taco, and I guess my bladder doesn't work. But I'm sitting down because I didn't even know I had to use the bathroom. But once I stood up to go in there, I had to go. I had to run and go. So, yeah. Like I said, I got 200 and it says 55 miles to empty. So, I'm going to ride it out until getting close to the gas. Or unless I notice that the gas is lower. And then I will pull off and get gas. And at that time, use the restroom. Uh, my goal, like I said, is to try to get as far as I can before... There's a 16-minute slowdown caused by construction in two miles. 16-minute slowdown caused by construction in two miles. I know you heard that. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh, just to drive as far as I can before it gets dark. Now that I'm full and I have... I have a whole enchilada, rice, and beans left. I don't know if I'm going to cook tonight because that's going to hold me over. So I've been noticing, I haven't really been having an appetite. I really haven't been eating since I've been gone. Um, well, I should say on the road. Um, don't require as much food as you think you need. A lot of times we eat because we're bored. But um, yeah, I planned on making that broccoli alfredo. But um, I think I'm gonna be full. But I might, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. 57 degrees, this is the warmest I felt in weeks. Uh, yeah, still stuck in traffic. Maybe it was a good idea that I did come on through here now versus later on when it truly is rush hour traffic it's probably going to be way worse so i guess it's a good thing they got some a chicken express it's a chicken laying down <laughs> it's funny okay all that ain't nobody
nobody even freaking working on the highway. Expensive, but I had my laptop, my work laptop, 
my personal laptop, my iPad, and you know, a few other things in here that I did not want to get stolen. And I just didn't want to take a chance, so I was like, well, you know, I'm going to keep on riding. But I'm not bougie, because, I mean, you see me sleeping in my vehicle. You see me, you know, living a simple life. But it's just certain things. I'm like, I'm not going to put myself into certain situations if I can try to avoid them or, if possible, um, if it's something that could possibly happen. So I try to keep myself out of those type of situations. But I really did just think that was funny when I rolled up and seen him with a big old towel. Like, it wasn't folded up or nothing. It was just, like, hanging down. And then he had a big old bottle. I probably say, well, stay in your lane. What are you doing? I'll probably say about 24 ounces. A big bottle. Some people just don't be paying no attention. Like, you're all up in my lane. You keep getting over in my lane. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Crazy. Just gotta watch everything when you ride. Like, you just can't be careful your own self. You have to watch other people and how they drive and, you know, even think of, will somebody do this? Or are they gonna do this? Are they gonna jump in my lane? Um, are they drunk? Are they sleepy? Are they falling asleep? Uh, are they going so fast to where, like, sometimes you switch your lanes and they're flying past you like you had your signal on and you getting over and they hop over you know so you got to be careful for that too like there's a lot of things you have to be careful of things um like falling off of other vehicles onto your car because that's happened to me like um some stuff fell and also in the road a truck hit something and it flew into my car which caused two thousand dollars worth of damage and insurance is like it's going it's considered debris even though i seen the truck hit the thing and it flew up into my car and it actually what it was was uh, um the tow hitch the whole actual heavy metal tow hitch was in my radiator i could have died but god you know kept me safe but that's just something you have to be careful of. So you can't always be like right up on another car and you have people like that that's always on your butt, always on your butt. If you do like, say they hit something or they have to swerve last minute, you can hit them or you're gonna hit an object because you can't see what's right in front of them because you're you're not giving yourself enough time to go be able to go around or to slow down. So you're gonna hit whatever's in the middle of the road. So I make sure I keep a safe distance. I make sure I watch all around me, in front of me, on the side of me, and in back of me. Even um, animals, deer running, like, they do a lot of damage to vehicles, especially going the speed you are on the interstate, and you can hit a deer. And I can't, you can't prevent that. Something. A lot of times you can't prevent it because they're going to come. They're going to come. But I still look out for that and look out for other animals in the road. I just had a minute of it because that car just was doing the most. All right, so I stopped at Love's. I got 13 hours and 14 minutes and 889 miles left. I stopped here. The gas is 2.57 here at Love's, but when I put my number in, it takes 10 cents off, so it'd be 2.47. So I'm going to go get the gas and go to the restroom. Then I'm going to hop back on the road for maybe another couple of more hours before I call it a night, a night or a day.
So he know I'm on my way home now, so he had to call me to run him through how to do the washroom. So if you can go two weeks without me washing your work clothes, you should be able to do that when I'm home. He's talking about he been, he wore all them and then he wore all the old, old ones too. So when I'm home, he don't bust out the old uniforms. He just expect them to be clean and washed for him. But yeah, you can go two weeks now. And the only reason why he washed them was because I'm on my way home. And I'm like, I did a laundry. It shouldn't be no, a whole bunch of clothes when I get home. Crazy, he's spoiled. But I can't tell because I'm spoiled too. I have little things that I won't do. Little simple things that he'll do. And I try to act like I'm helpless and he'll do the things. So it's just certain things that I would not touch or would not do. We just leave it for him. hours and 40 something minutes and I think I have like 600 and some miles left it's only 7 6 30 here 6 32 7 30 my time but I'm, I'm tired my eyes are tired so I'm, I'm just gonna stop I'm at Crackle Barrel so I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening Good morning, just got up and on the road. I got 10, almost 11 hours left, 685 miles. So, I'll be home tonight. It's 7.10 um, their time and 8.10 my time. So, it would almost been 11 hours. It, I will probably get home around 8 or 9 p.m. today probably 9 because I make a frequent amount of stops just to get myself rest and everything like I said yesterday I wanted to sleep longer but I mean I wanted to drive longer but my eyes were tired so when I'm tired I stop so I stopped at like 6 p.m. and that was early I wasn't able to really get to sleep till late because it was only one person one van in the uh at the crackle barrel and i don't know i just kept looking like where are all the other cars at but i eventually was able to doze off i think it was kind of late though but i'm happy that i am on my last stretch welcome to alabama eight hours and 18 minutes left 527 miles
so I made it to my town. It is seven, no, 6.52 p.m. I got 10 minutes left, so I'll be there at 7.02. It's currently 79 degrees outside. Cleaned up the house spotlessly. Lit some candles, got some music playing. And made me some dinner. I want to thank you guys so much for coming along with me on my beautiful journey. I had a wonderful time. I'm glad that you guys were able to come with me. Thank you so much for all your love and your support. Until next time, I'll see you again. And if you missed out on any of my videos for my winter road trip, go back and watch them. Bye-bye.